We took a bus from the capital city of Imo State, Owere, to Uyo, which is the capital city of Akwa Ibo. The first place we visited was the Ibom Golf Resort. The resort has the biggest golf course in West Africa with 18 holes, by 72 championship standard golf course of over 7,000 yards. So we rented some bicycles to tour around the resort with. So this is the biggest golf course in the whole of West Africa. Okay. With 18 holes. 18 holes, yes. Okay. Though some golf goes to have 18 holes, but it's not as big as this one. Oh. It's the biggest in West Africa. Yes. Wow. Bridge cross, be careful. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I'm catching my breath like the hill is so high. Like the tour guide told us, uh, he said that uh, this is where the professionals do, you know, play. And over there is for the amateurs. So right now, as you can see, we are the professional vloggers. And that's why we are <laughs> up on this hill. So after two hours of turning around the resort, we decided to call it a quit and leave. So we took a bus, a kind of pep, motorbike and a boat to get to our next location, an island called Eastern Mbolo. So guys, right now I'm at the Eastern Obolo Beach here in Akwa Yibo. You know what? It still amazes me like the kind of beauty this uh, country has. Like I'm very, 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 very blessed to be, like no doubt, I'm very, very blessed to be from Nigeria. If not for the bad governance, the bad leadership we have here in Nigeria. Trust me guys, this, this country is definitely like, the best country you have to be in the world. And you have to be so much proud about it. So guys, just take a look at the beautiful beach, the beauty of this place. Why? Oh my God, if at least our leaders can look somewhere else apart from the oil stuff and look towards, you know, tourism. I just hope that we as citizens can wake up and hold our leaders accountable. Let them do the needful. Like, this country is so beautifully blessed by the Most High God. Let me make a quick video for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Eastern Mbolo is also a home to fishermen and women. Their only source of livelihood is fishing. Of course, we visited inside their community and we were welcomed like no strangers. Alright, 
My name is Augustus Netandani. The name of the community is Olopo Okroite Fishing Port. Uh, I'm going fishing. I get boat, I get engine. I suffer for fishing. All of us, we have survived for fishing. So that is the only way that we survive. And we love ourselves, we love each other. We love a stranger. We also like everybody. We need more something in this noble because we have the highest oil in the Nakwaibon state. We have the oil, much oil in this noble. This noble is a very great pass for oil. Anyway, we need empowerment so that where everybody get empowerment, they can use from their children. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. Okay. Guys, so right now we are done from Obolo community and right now we are we are going to take the ferry back to Uyo and uh, it has been a great uh, hospitality from the villagers, the locals here, yeah, they, they have been very, very, um, you know, very, very welcoming. So our next stop was at the street market in the center of Uyo. They sell mostly electronic gadgets and mostly fashion accessories. Oh, hold on. I can't miss my street food. A well-prepared noodle with a spicy fried egg would be good to be served. Hold on. So our next location was in banking layout. So I'm here to show you guys the tallest building here in New York, and that's right over there at the background. So I was told that this is the uh, the Mobile uh, headquarters. Mobiles are like the global uh, oil company you already know. So this is their headquarters here in New York, and it is the tallest building here in New York. This is the Bibio Museum. This museum is sometimes referred to an acquirable museum headquarters. The museum has a large expanse of well landscape lounge surrounding it. Allegedly, the museum is currently shut down by the state government. We could only see the antifats left inside the museum through the glass wall. Next place was at the Sinotaf. Akwaibon, which formed part of the then eastern region, had a fair share of the pains of the Nigerian Civil War. This cenotaph was laid in the memory of Akwaibon heroes murdered during the Nigerian Civil War from 1967 to 1970. This is the end of our trip. This is the end of our trip here in Akwaibon. And right now we are going back. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far. And if you do, you know, already know what to do. Hit the like button below, share with your family and subscribe. friends, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Three whole days of adventures, three whole days of exciting experience, three whole days of seeing your scene. Ebony media, keep it love.